All right, solving for the cosine of two alpha, we're gonna get, um, so the same thing as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Well, the, what this can be reduced down to is two cosine squared theta minus one equals negative root three over two. Um, so I'll add one to both sides. So this ends up becoming um, two cosine squared theta um, is equal to two, two minus root three over two and I multiply, I got a common denominator there. So divide by two again. So cosine squared is equal to two minus root three over four. Take square root of both sides. We end up with is um, is uh, cosine theta is equal to uh, square root of two minus root three over over four or well do this over two. It's just this. So maybe a little confused here, but okay. So theta in this case is going to be equal to um, arc cosine of uh, square root of two minus root three over two, which which is um, one point three zero eight nine. Uh, I made just one slight mistake though. Um, because it's plus or minus um, square root, so actually I got to take the negative or arc sine of the negative, which gives me approximately one point eight three. I think there's actually in total uh, four. Of these. So I did this here. So in total, there's uh, there's three of the or four of these. Um, this should kind of make sense. I shouldn't say this kind of makes sense, but like because it's a double angle, I guess one way to like kind of look at it, you know, don't take this exactly for what it is. But um, so normally the cosine uh, is equal to negative square root of three over two for in quadrants two and uh, three. Um, but usually when you have like a double angle, there'll be twice as much. So in this case, four answers. So. Here's your solutions to the cosine of two, a double angle of the cosine. So cosine of two theta is equal to negative square root of three over two. All right.